you guys. Welcome everyone to our last opening worship today. Uh, parents, I want to thank you for all being here and seeing what we've been doing for the past three days. Um, this is going to be recorded, so if you want to put your slide your phones away and you guys can watch it on YouTube or wherever Pastor Dane wants to put that. Um, I also wanted to thank Jenny, Pastor Dane, Janelle, Chris, and everyone that has been working behind the scenes up front, all the volunteers for helping us put this on. We could have not have done this without you guys. Yes, give a round of applause for that. Um, and also thank you for trust and trusting us with your kids. They've been all amazing. I've worked with the preschoolers closely and I know that all the kids have been amazing. And I know that we are, I have been blessed by them in multiple different ways. So you guys have really great kids. I hope you know that. All right, with that being said, um, will you guys repeat after me? In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, all three in one, we welcome you all to worship. I ask you all to pray with me. Can I get closer? Okay. Dear God, I ask that you bless this day. I thank you for the wonderful weather that we are having today and just all of these smiling faces that we get to see here and that we get to spend the time with and share your word with. And I thank you that we get to share that their experiences with their parents. In your name I pray, amen. All right, we are going to do the theme verse. Can I have all the staff members from the camp yes, come up? Yeah. Up. Preschoolers, if you want to come up here, can you guys come up here? Stand out right up with the preschoolers too. We're gonna to sing this all together.
you can go back to your seat. And then Kay and First, if you want to start heading up right after the preschoolers, you're going to sing I'll Do My Best. Our reading is from Luke 14, 7 through 14, is on inclusion, which was our first day. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honor, in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. And the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place, and then in disgrace you would start to take the lowest place. When, but when you are invited, go and sit at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in, a, in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. He said also to you, the one who has, had invited him, When you give a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or brothers or relatives or rich neighbors, in case they may invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid by, at the resurrection of the righteous. We'll have the second graders come up and sing Be Bold. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong, be strong. 
Our scripture reading for compassion is from Luke 10, verses 25 through 37. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise.
All right, so our last day was forgiveness. And for that one, they all learned a whole lot about forgiveness and the Bible story of Jesus forgiving the, what was that one? The, okay, the paraplegic. He forgave the paraplegic because he did something and then he could no longer walk. And then he forgave them and he was able to get up and go on and walk again. So our first day, inclusion. Who remembers what that means? What does inclusion mean? Yeah? Mm-hmm. It means to include others. You need to go and ask people like, hey, do you want to do this with me? If someone's sitting alone, if someone's playing alone, go ahead and just ask them. Be kind. God wants you all to be kind and include others. What about compassion? What does compassion mean? Anybody else know what compassion means? Yeah? Yep, that, that one's forgiveness. That, you got that one right for forgiveness. So compassion. Compassion means you just have to be really kind to others. Be nice to each other, include others. It's just all around being such a good person for other people. What about forgiveness? You had forgiveness, right? Right? Yep, saying you're sorry. You have to forgive people when they're being nice to you, right? Even if you don't want to. It, sometimes it's really hard, but God really wants you to forgive them. You guys had an awesome week, didn't you? Yeah. You learned so much. and we're, God loves you all for being here and learning all this with you. All right. Go to our skit. We have an awesome skit for you guys. Sometimes the right thing to do and the thing God wants us to do isn't fun, but it also can be fun because you can make a friend. It can also impact the lives of your other friends. So this is what I want you to do when you leave this building. Please go out, include others, have compassion, and forgive others.
You can stand up for this one. Thank you, fifth graders. All right, now we're going to take an offering. guys, as we're taking our offering, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for coming to day camp this year. Um, you guys have been so great and fun. Um, we've learned a lot about God and Jesus and being compassionate and sharing with each other, right? Um, I also want to lift up some people because uh, they offered during our offering they offered their time and talents also. So I want to start with our volunteers. So if our volunteers will just stand up. So anybody that came as a parent or as a youth that came and helped with the kids, uh, the staff from the daycare. Um, so as we're making that offering, let's offer a clap to them. All right. Thank you, guys. We couldn't do it without you. All right, you guys can have a seat. Okay, and the next people that have offered all of their gifts, and they're offering their gifts to these, these age kids all summer long. Um, so these are high school and college students, and, and some have come from far away, and some have come from town here. So let's have our day camp staff um, all stand up. Thank you, guys. We... Um, you know, wanted to wish you all the best with these kids. You guys have done a great job. I know week one is really hard because you're all learning yet yourselves. So you did fantastic. Thank you. All right, will you all join me in prayer? Father God, thank you for giving us an amazing week where we were able to impact the lives of all of the kids here. Thank you for teaching them about you and being able to show yourself to them more. I pray that they go out and they're able to uh, feel a sense of community and compassion for those around them and that they are able to grow in your love more. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join us in the benediction. May the Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May his face shine upon you. May the f may, <laughs> may God's blessings go with you. May God's blessings go with you. 
Thank you guys for coming. We're going to dismiss the parents first. Thank you, parents, for coming.